Hello, in the name of Jesus. Hey, did you know that Martin Luther once wrote, Nothing is more necessary, he said, than that we should continually turn towards God's ear, call upon him, and pray to him. We must, Luther said, pray that God would give, preserve, and increase faith within us. That's well said. And why not? Because the Lord extends a beautiful invitation to you today. He said, call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. Yes, you will glorify him for the answer, whatever it might be, because you know he knows. That's right. You know he knows what is best and will take care of the rest of your life. That is for sure. After all, you communicate with those you love all the time. Your spouse, others in your house, your children, your friends, your working associates, your neighbors, your relatives, even your mother-in-law. <laughs> Who ever heard of loving someone and then not communicating with them? So the argument is from the less to the greater. If you naturally communicate with your loved ones here on earth, how much the more should you not be communicating with the one in heaven who loved you so much he gave up his only begotten son so you would not have to give up on life, especially considering you have in Christ eternal life. So are you indeed communicating with your Heavenly Father, whom you will see someday, keeping in touch with him in the name of Jesus. Jesus once said, truly, truly, I say to you, whatever you ask of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. What? Ask for whatever you want? Carte blanche? Well, you know, that word whatever covered every personal need for the disciples at that time. And also, it covers it for you as well today. Namely, the forgiveness of sins, everlasting life, and of course, daily bread as well. Daily bread, meaning house, home, spouse, children, food on the table, and cooks that are able the Apostle Paul once wrote, And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. So a heavenly standard is used to fulfill an earthly need. That's pretty neat. Indeed, with a promise like that, why would you not want to keep in touch with your heavenly Father? So how about you today? Do you pray to the Lord? And do you ask him for the things that are right and that are pleasing in his sight? Consider this. A son or daughter goes off to college and you tell them, please stay in touch. Or perhaps a best friend takes a trip, an extended one for several weeks to Europe. So you ask them, please communicate with me, whether it's an email or a snail mail or a text or a phone call. You just want to know they're okay. You want to know that they're going to be staying in touch with you. Well, your Lord, who sent his only son to die and rise for you, desires that while you sojourn here on earth, that you stay in touch with him. St. Paul urges you in his letter to the Thessalonians to pray without ceasing. One author has written, to be a praying Christian does not simply mean to pray occasionally but to pray continually. No one can live by taking a breath once in a while. A person cannot read by a light that flickers off and on and off and on and off and on. A ship cannot sail with only an occasional puff of wind. It's not going to get anywhere. So also a Christian cannot maintain spiritual life by praying just once in a while. Colossians 4.2 urges you to devote yourselves to prayer. Romans 12.12 says to be constant in prayer. You know, it's easy to say a quick meal prayer or the Lord's Prayer, and that's it. That's your prayer life. That's all there is to it. But consider this. If you plug a lamp into a wall, a wall socket, 
and barely push that plug into the wall. Even your cat or dog walking by can sever that connection. No, you don't want a severed connection with the Lord. You don't even want a loose one. Jesus once said, he who abides in me, and the word abide means to live, he who abides in me and I in him will bear much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. Of course, connected to Christ, you can do all things. So, how strong is your connection today? The stronger the connection, the more you will pray. The weaker the connection, the less you will pray. Don't ever think the Lord does not hear you when you pray. In Psalm 120, verse 1, the psalmist writes, In my distress I called to the Lord, and he answered me. Wow, that gives you and me a pretty strong desire to stay in touch with the Almighty. So stay in the Word, and in Holy Communion you'll pray more. Stay out of the Word and out of the Lord's Supper. You're going to end up praying less. What will it be for you today? What will it be? It was said of Luther that when he prayed, it was with as much reverence as if he were praying to an infinite God and with as much familiarity as if he were speaking to his dearest friend. How about you? Have you spoken to your dearest friend lately? Talk to you, God willing, next week.